and welcome back in the last video we created a basic server that did nothing <laughs> but it did uh, bind to a port so that's good um, in this next um, video here we're going to actually add a, a handler to this um, to the server so we can actually do something with it so it has some use so once again before we're using gorilla so we're going to be using gorilla mux uh, for our router and we need to do a couple things for setup and almost ready. I should have done this before the video started. And okay. So new folder, router, and new file, router.go. Typical pattern here that we're using. Um, let's see, uh, we wanted a package router. We want to have a type uh, router as a stroke struct. Okay, it's going to have a internal router. So Let's see what's the best way to do this. Um, I think we're going to call this route handler. And then we'll have a router inside. I think that's a better way to do this. And mux dot um, router. Uh, and then we will route handler um, creates the. Uh, the handler for go routes go api routes right api routes need a function for new server function new router is going to return a pointer to a router or right, handler that's right and then we're going to say var router is route handler um, router dot router is equal to Let's see, mux, oops, mux dot new router, and then we want to add a couple of things to here because we want to make sure that, um, let's see here, we want to add, we want to add a couple, um, couple things. So one thing we do is we want to do a strict slash, so strict slash, so what that does is that, so if you have a route that does that, let's say you have a route that's, you know, some, some, some domain.com forward slash and let's say like API, right? Or someone types in some domain.com forward slash HPI forward slash, it'll handle both these routes. So you, you want to have the strict slash so that the um, router can uh, handle routes properly. Uh, it's, kind of, it's pretty important. Oh, you know what? We actually want to be able to serve files as well, huh? So let's go ahead and create a static folder here. Static folder so we can actually serve uh, files. And we will create a test file text that says hello. Oh, hello. Just for later on so we can t test that. Um, and then we need to actually attach that to the router. So let's see. Um, we need to do router.router. Um, dot path prefix um, and then we need to have a static directory let's see here we want to do um, okay const static directory is equal to um, static uh, yeah we'll just do that and then we can say Static directory. Oops. And then we need to do um, handler. It's going to be an HTTP handler. Not a strip prefix static directory. And then we need to do uh, HTTP dot file server. And then we want to do HTTP dot directory of dot plus static directory there we go and because of the zoom this might be a little bit hard to read let's try to make this so you can actually read it there we go and then we'll say new router creates a new router router and then we'll say um, why is this not no. There we go. Um, return a pointer to router. Okay. So, 
what this is doing basically is this is basically attaching a route to the router that allows you to serve these uh, static files from this folder. So up here you're saying this is the directory that you're looking for because once again it starts at the root directory since mains right here it looks for static inside that main you know, inside here right. Um, and then we're attaching and then we're we're attaching that to the file server, but then we're stripping that directory from the top so you can just do the forward slash and grab the file instead. Let, let's do a demonstration instead. Uh, th I think that will go better. Um, oh, we need to attach the router first. So let's go to let's go to here, and then we will get our router. So we need to first grab that that uh, package. So we'll say um, router factory, and we'll call it uh, github.com forward slash, oh, I can't remember what that path is. There we go. And then it's our router. And then we'll say router factory new router. So here, I'm going to say router is equal to new router like so and then yeah I know I'm, that's what I'm taking care of right now and then we're going to attach that router right here and then we should be able to do can't use router oh that's right I thought router there we go okay and then we should be able to do this here and we should be able to curl local host 8000 and then we'll do text dot text. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe just do static. Shoot, do, do. There we go. Yep. Okay. So now we can grab. I I, I forgot. That's okay. Anyway. Uh, so now you can actually grab files of the static folder. So anytime you have any static assets, you can just attach it to your static folder here, and then you can go grab it from your API anytime you need to. Because obviously we're going to attach this to to a uh, um, to a domain name at some point, right in the future. So that's an easy way, you know, let's say like you know, API dot some domain dot com forward slash static, you know, text dot text like that. Well, of course, you'll probably want to do HTTPS. We'll, we'll touch a SSL later on. Makes sense, right? Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, uh, I just wanted to attach a very basic router here and show you kind of basic routing. Obviously, there's still no actual routes attached besides the static router. Next video, we're actually going to attach some logging, and then the video after that, we're going to start attaching actual routes. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, uh, see you next time.